everybody, it's Erin Busby with BusbyStyle.com. Thank you so much for watching. So what I want to talk to you about today are fall fashion trends. And I apologize it's taking me this long to do a video about them. I just have had a hard time kind of getting excited about fall fashion trends since it literally is still 90 degrees here in Texas. But I am on top of them. I've been studying them. I've been speaking about them at events speaking about them with clients. So I really want to get you guys up to speed so that you feel prepared when you walk into the stores, you know what to look for, you know what's on trend. Um, first, I want to say this season is really unique in the sense that literally everything goes, anything and everything. Let's just take the skirt length, for example. You can wear a mini, you can wear a knee length skirt, you can wear a midi skirt, you can wear a maxi skirt. So that pretty much covers the whole spectrum. With shoes, you can wear a chunky heel, stiletto heel, strappy shoe, um, ankle booty, pointed toe and round toe ankle booty, knee high, over the knee, thigh high. <laughs> so there's every boot height. Um, you know, you've got prints that are on trend, but then solids are on trend also. Uh, you can do oversized silhouettes, and then you can also do streamlined and tailored. You can do uber feminine, and then you can do menswear. So really something for everybody, which I just think is so exciting because never before maybe has there been this combination of trends that allows everyone to really express who they are as people, which I think is very, very important. So kind of one of the easiest places to start with trends, I would say, is color. The biggest color of the season is gray. Gray is not a new color, but you're just going to see a lot more of it this fall winter season. And the terrific thing about gray is that it's very neutral and it also comes in a lot of different shades. You may have heard the shades of gray uh, title before, but they are so versatile and neutral and really will go with just about any color. I would treat your gray like you do black. Another really exciting color is the one that I'm wearing, which is called burgundy or Bordeaux or oxblood. And certainly there are varying shades of burgundy or Bordeaux. You know, some are deeper, some are more red, some are more brown, some are more plum. So, but this is a really yummy, lovely shade that I think it's, um, it's a good one to bring back and I'm excited it's back. The other one is green. I really love green because I feel like I have sort of chameleon eyes and when I wear green, I feel like it really brings out my eyes and makes them look green. But that too can go in a lot of different shades. You can do emerald and then you could do military green. So definitely um, think about picking up some green this season. Another really big trend is leather. It's not new, but it's still really, really on trend. And it doesn't necessarily mean your traditional leather pieces like a leather handbag or leather shoes. What you wanna look for are, are, are unusual pieces that are made in leather. And again, this doesn't have to be real leather. It can be vegan leather or faux leather. Uh, a lot of the vegan and faux leathers look just as nice um, or almost as nice as the real McCoy. So what does that mean? It means a skirt, a dress, a dress with leather design details, uh, leather leggings, leather pants. Um, I would get some non-traditional leather piece to incorporate into your wardrobe this season. Here's an example of the piece that I picked up. This you may have, you may remember from my vlog video, but this is a dress t-shirt top. It's by Calvin Klein and then this pleated faux leather skirt. And I will post a link to this piece below because I think it still is for sale. And it was really uh, reasonable, I think at about $100. Fleets are another big trend and certainly representative of the texture trend that's happening this season. Lots of rich textures. So pleats can be one of them. Another texture is tweed or boucle like this jacket that you guys may remember from my tweed jacket video, but you can just see all of the texture in that, in that um, jacket. And then one other example of, you know, rich texture is mesh. And just take a close up look at that skirt. It's just full of texture and it's nice to mix different textures the same way you would do with interior design um, or fuzzy sweaters or chunky knit sweaters. Chunky knits is another exciting new trend this season. Um, it reminds me a lot of the 90s. I remember really loving the J. Crew cable knit sweaters and living in those and wearing them with shorts. Um, so knits 
are big and back. And what's new about them is that you can pair them with unexpected things. So you can wear your knits with dresses layered over a dress, wear it with a skirt, wear it with dressy shorts, wear it with heels. I would say look for sort of that chunky cable knit fisherman sweater that you would think you would buy in Ireland. That would be a good good place to start and that is a good piece to get. But on the runways you saw this knit from head to toe, which is really interesting to me and I wonder whether or not we're gonna start wearing sweater pants. It'll be interesting to see that one and how that translates, but stay tuned, we'll, we'll find out soon enough. So knit's another big trend and then also um, prints. And here's where again, it's really the whole gamut of prints. You've got stripes, polka dots, geometric prints, global prints, tribal prints, um, there's insect prints, lots of birds, uh, and then you have plaid. So I really love plaid. I think it's classic and lovely. Um, I did style this skirt on a blog if you're interested in seeing that. I'll put the link below. Um, this skirt is um, made out of that scuba or neoprene fabric so it does not wrinkle, which I love. And it's just a great piece, but plaid, another big trend, prints, another big trend for this season. And then lastly, I wanna talk about coats and jackets. I could do a whole video about coats and jackets. There really are so many different styles that are on trend right now. Everything from the wrap coat to the oversized cocoon coat. But the one piece you should have, if you haven't bought it already, because it has been on trend for the last couple of seasons, is the motorcycle jacket, sometimes referred to as the moto jacket. And so that's just a leather jacket or faux leather jacket with motorcycle elements. I have a jacket that I bought, it's faux leather. I bought it several years ago. Um, in Israel. So some of it's in Hebrew, which is kind of cool, like the buttons are in Hebrew, which is kind of cool, but um, I think it looks terrific. So I don't necessarily think you have to buy, you know, the real McCoy here. I don't think you can go wrong either way, because if you want to save up and invest in a real leather moto jacket, then terrific, you're gonna wear it for years to come. But if you don't have that kind of budget right now, you might wanna go with something more like this option, which is the faux leather option and more budget friendly option. And I think they look terrific as well. One thing I would say, if you're gonna, if you're gonna pay, um, you know, upwards of a thousand dollars for your moto jacket, just find one that has pretty neutral hardware and maybe you wanna go lighter on the bike uh, the biker babe feel because then that's going to provide you with maximum versatility and i'll post a link to a jacket that i really love um by joie below that uh, i think is biker light biker babe light so that is the last the last trend that i want to talk to you guys about if you have any questions at all feel free to comment feel free to email and of course don't forget to subscribe to my blog because i really do put a lot of different content on my blog. I give you a lot more shopping suggestions on my blog. All you do is go to busbystyle.com and you just put your email address in the box under subscribe to blog and then you can choose whether you wanna do a daily subscription or a weekly subscription depending on your email preferences. So I hope that helps you get you guys geared up for the fall winter season. 